just showed up at your tournament and they posted a graph on the wall. But what are you really looking at? There's all these numbers, there's a shape over here, and there's a name. At the end, this is what we're really looking at. I want to know two different things. I want to know the distance, and I want to know the total volume. Kegel's done a very good job of standardizing how much oil is on the lane these days. There's almost always between 20 and 30 units. So anytime you see a league shot, you're around the 24, 25 unit range. It's right in the middle. That gives you a baseline of what you're going to see. And this particular pattern is 36 feet, and the total volume is 26. So there's a little bit more volume than you see in your average house pattern. And the fact that it's only 36 feet long when the average house pattern is 40 to 42 feet means that it's more concentrated in the front part of the lane. This tells me two things. One, there's going to be quite a bit of oil in the front of the lane. And the 36 feet, this goes back to USBC's guide of 31. Your break point is going to be somewhere around the fifth board. Take the distance of the pattern, minus 31, kind of a general guideline. If you're a higher rev rate player, that may be closer to one, two, three. If you're a higher speed, lower rev player, it might move in just a little bit into five, six, seven. But this guide will allow you to, to look at this graph and have an idea of one, where to start, and two, the amount of oil in the front of the lane will tell you how much surface you can use right off the bat. Now, for instance, there's a second pattern. In this second pattern, in this case, the Montreal, we're looking at the same two things. So 41 feet and 25.7 mils, almost identical amount of volume overall. And what you'll notice is this is stretched out over five more feet. The end result is there's going to be more friction in the front of the lane, and you're going to feel like you have a lot more oil in the mid lane. So you may not be able to use as much surface, but you'll end up using lower RG balls and using less ball speed to get the ball to pick up. Your break point's going to be somewhere about five boards left to where it was on the 36 foot pattern, so in the 8 through 12 range. And overall, you're going to use balls that probably have a little less cover. So in the end, when you look at these graphs, they don't have to be scary. There's a little bit of basic information that being learned by the distance of the pattern and the overall volume. That will give you an idea of where to start, but in the end, as always, let your ball be your guide.